it's very much been my experience that when we're trading, the real frustrations come in when we are doing bad things, when we are performing badly, when you can honestly look then and say that you did everything correct and this trade just failed. It was a good idea. I had good opportunity. I kept my risk in check. I position size. I managed it the way I was supposed to and it just failed. Those are, I, I find a lot easier to deal with. And when trading gets you to where you want to punch a hole in something and throw your computer out the window and scream profanities, you know, it's when you're in that situation where you make a size, you size up too big, the trade flips around on you. And now you're just in a weird spot, even if you don't know it or think about it this logically, but now there's no way you're bringing back this loss today, unless you keep the size large and then you're opening yourself up to a world there. Right. And so all these things are kind of you know, dealing with us or, or you micromanage the trade and it, and, it, and it goes to its spot or you get too greedy and don't take the trade off and it rolls back on you and you know you were supposed to. These are the things that make trading so difficult to deal with mentally. And um, if we can, it, it's all the more reason just to trade well and, and really focus on your performance because um, that's when you can have more energy in your trading, but energy will just disappear when you start performing bad. And then the market, you know, you can say it becomes unfavorable. Um, but I, I think I lost track a little bit of what the actual question was. <laughs> no, that, that, I mean, I, so did I, but that was a good answer to it. I <laughs> like, okay, okay. Um, yeah, no, it, it is. It's true. Like that's when you do start to chew into that mental capacity and it's so important. Everything we've talked about contributes to that, right? Your good morning routine and, and then actually having a plan and sticking to your plan and not doing these things that so many pitfalls of traders fall into, which is that oversizing, over leveraging, underfunding, whatever it is, right? Um, your mental capacity is just going to get chewed up. And it's, it's tough, right? Because you're trading a leveraged product, futures are leveraged. And, you know, a lot of people want to get into this and potentially take a shot for the moon, but you know, that, that that's probably not going to work out if you don't have a good foundation. No one's no one's out here, right, making their fortunes in a day off of a $25,000 account, right? It's going to take time. It's just like anything else, right? You're not going to experience a straight upward linear pattern. It's going to be ebbs and flows, and you want that trajectory to remain positive, but it's never going to be a straight line, right, um, yeah. which is tough to accept. <laughs> Yeah. And I think it's just important to recognize that there are, you know, there are differences between people that can make money doing this and people who are losing money that are doing this. There are differences. And one of those very serious actions are people that are struggling consistently are in this bad loop of trying to take a very small amount of money and make a very large amount of money. This is not how we operate in this business. And even if that worked in, in a very short amount of time, the world in general and the markets especially have a very unique way of separating people who don't deserve the money that they have. And if you were to make a ton of money in the markets, it would all be coming right back in a matter of time. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's a great way to put it. It's incredible how, you know, whether it's quickly or over time, the market will separate that out. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. And, and that, you know, you get the people who get lucky for long, long periods of time. They don't even know that they're doing the wrong thing, but they're getting lucky doing the wrong thing. And all of a sudden that usually comes back to slap you in the face pretty hard.